Let's go over the brain anatomy and sagittal sections. I hope that you reviewed uh, the previous two um, videos, the one about the uh, basal ganglia relations and the one for the cross sections. Uh, we will start the sagittal sections from uh, the mid sagittal section. And as I told you in the previous uh, uh, video, the first thing you look at is the tree in the backyard right here. So this is posterior, this is anterior, this is the cerebellum. Right in front of the cerebellum is the pons. Between the pons and the cerebellum, you have the fourth ventricle. Above the pons is the midbrain, below the pons is the medulla. And then uh, the midbrain is basically the neck of that bird that I told you about. Uh, the head of the bird would be the thalamus and it would be many feathers uh, going in all directions. I'll go over them. So this would be the thalamus. This here is the interthalamic adhesions between the, the uh, right and left thalami. Uh, here would be the hypothalamus and this is the infundibular stalk that connects the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland, which is of course not present in this section because it doesn't come out with the brain um, uh, as one piece. Okay, so behind uh, the thalamus, you have the pineal gland. Above the thalamus, uh, you have the uh, lateral ventricles, specifically in the midline. This was nicely cut. So you have the midline uh, septum pellucidum separating the right and left uh, lateral ventricles from each other. Uh, then you have the uh, corpus callosum with all its parts right here. You have the glostrum, you have the genu, you have the body, you have the splenium. Okay, and then above that, you have the cingulate gyrus. Okay, uh, these are the main features, but let me go over a little bit more. You have uh, the olfactory bulb here and the olfactory tract. And then uh, in the back here, you have the pineal gland, as we mentioned. Below the pineal gland, you have the superior and inferior colliculi. So this would be the quadrigeminal recess, the space here is the quadrigeminal recess that I told you about in the previous video. And this canal is the canal that connects the third ventricle, which is the space medial to the thalamus. Between the two thalami, you have a space. Um, that's the uh, third ventricle, and it's connected to the fourth ventricle through the aqueduct of Sylvius or the cerebral aqueduct right here. But I want you to see one more thing in this section. You see this band uh, uh, that goes medial to the thalamus, almost at the uh, upper end of the medial surface of the thalamus. Uh, this is the stria terminal. And the stria terminal, if you, if you remember, will lead you to the habenular uh, uh, nuclei and then to the pineal gland. It connects the pineal gland to the hypothalamus and to the uh, parts of the thalamus as well, okay? And uh, the habenula is not showing in this section. It's not gonna show on sagittal sections. If you wanna see it, go through the video that uh, goes over the uh, cross sections. I think that's it of this one. Okay. Uh, this is one section lateral, like we went through this kind of thickness, okay? So this would be the, the next section lateral. So we went through uh, the lateral ventricle, okay? This is the space of the lateral ventricle. Roof is made up uh, by the corpus callosum. And you start seeing the, the floor uh, structures. Uh, you have the head of the caudate nucleus and you have the thalamus. Below the thalamus is the midbrain. Below the midbrain is the pons. And here is the cerebellum. You can see here the uh, peduncles, all of them, the three uh, superior, middle, and inferior peduncles. And you still see part of the hypothalamus and the, uh, the infundibular stalk right here. Uh, the forebrain nuclei, the acetylcholine, uh, nuclei are present in, in this part of the cortex here. Uh, and this would be the quadrigeminal uh, recess. 
And these, these are the colliculi, the superior and inferior colliculi. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so this one here is the next one uh, immediately next to the previous one. So you can still see uh, a lot of the features that we talked about, the cerebellum, the pons, and you only see the middle, uh, the middle um, uh, cerebellar peduncle here. You see a little bit of the inferior. Um, here's the midbrain. Here's the uh, thalamus, and his, uh, this is the head of the caudate nucleus. Um, and this is the lateral ventricle. This is the corpus callosum. So let's go, and and you can see here. Uh, this is the tip of the ancus of the uh, temporal lobe. And if I go a little bit lateral before I go to the next block, I need to go over this one. Um, you went through most of the uh, pawns. You're now lateral, a little bit lateral to the pawns. You still see the middle uh, cerebellar uh, peduncle uh, going through the pawns. And you still see part of the thalamus, but you started going through the internal capsule. You can see those fibers going up like that in all directions. Uh, you, those are uh, the internal capsule, uh, all, although you still can see part of the head of the caudate uh, nucleus in this one. This is the next one. And it shows a little bit better uh, the internal capsule, okay? Those fibers going up, you still see part of the head of the caudate and a part of the body. You started hitting the lateral wall of the uh, lateral ventricles. This is part of the end of the corpus callosum laterally. And you can see part of the uh, temporal lobe with part of the ancus here. Doesn't show that, uh, that many uh, structures, but if I flip it like that, you can see uh, the hippocampus in this one, okay? So you start to see the hippocampus here uh, within uh, the temporal lobe, and you can see the amygdala uh, in front of it right here. And on, on this section, you only see um, the internal capsule. You see shadows of, uh, remember this is more lateral than the previous one. So you started sh seeing shadows of the basal ganglia that are lateral to, uh, to, to the internal capsule, which are the lentiform nucleus, okay? So this is more lateral to the previous one. This is medial, okay? This is lateral. There is no more, uh, there is no more uh, lateral ventricle except here, posterior, uh, uh, posterior extension, posterior horn, uh, but you can see the, uh, body of the uh, lateral ventricle, you can see the uh, internal capsule in the corona radiata and, and uh, lateral to it, you see the shadow of the lentiform nucleus, okay? So hippocampus, lentiform nucleus, internal capsule. And the last one shows a little bit more of the lentiform nucleus, rest of the internal capsule. This is more uh, uh, lateral than the previous one, shows the inferior horn of the uh, uh, lateral ventricle. And you can see here the hippocampus pretty clearly and the amygdala. Um, but if I show you the very, very last one, other side of the section, you can see the dentate uh, gyrus of the hippocampus right here, the, uh, of the limbic system right here. So you can see why it was called the uh, dentate uh, gyrus, okay? So uh, this is as far lateral as you can get. You, you can see started to get interrupted and broken down. Uh, so I hope that this covers uh, the, the important structures in the lateral or in the sagittal sections. And next we will go over the coronal sections in, a, in another video.